don't want people finding out that Norma gave birth to me and then be like, oh, so it's because of you that all of this stuff has happened. My whole thinking is everyone's gonna blame me for abortion being legal. The baby at the center of the Roe versus Wade case giving her first interview ever this week. Shelly Lynn Thornton was born before her mother won the right to an abortion. It comes as Joe Biden reverses Donald Trump's ban on federal funding for ab abortion referring clinics. Fox News contributor Alveda King is the founder of the pro-life organization Speak for Life and she joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, Angel. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Yes, yeah. hello to everybody. So Shelly Lynn Thornton said when she was growing up in like her high school years, her biggest concern, shoes and boys. And then the National Enquirer does a story on her and reveals her birth identity. And then her adopted mother, uh, her mother says to her, let me tell you the story of who you are and, and who your biological mother is. What, what's your reaction to this? Well, let me first say about Shelly, she is entitled to her emotions. This is America. We have feelings and we must be compassionate to everybody. I understand exactly what Shelly is saying. My mother wanted to abort me in 1950 and my grandfather, Martin Luther King Sr., said, no, that's a real person. I saw her in a dream three years ago. She has bright skin and bright red hair and she's going to bless many people. Wow. So with that prophetic ultrasound, I was allowed to live. Now, Shelly, I get it. I really do, and I want to pray for Shelly because I understand. And I would say to both sides of the discussion, remember we're dealing with a human being who was allowed to live. I'm glad Shelly's alive. I'm glad I'm alive. However, we should have compassion, love, and sensitivity when people have to deal with these emotions. And how do you feel about, uh, you know, remember President Trump, he banned federal funding going to these clinics that are giving abortion referrals. And now Joe Biden is reversing that. The abortion mills are really always after money. They care nothing about human dignity. They say they care about the woman, but they don't. You know I've had abortions, and those were uh, really sad times in my own life. To be considered as revenue, money, that's what they do. And the way that the president, President Biden has done this now, they can refer people for abortions right back to their own associates and affiliates. So it's all about the money and I think it's shameful. As someone who has experienced that and gone through your past, how did you end up uh, starting this organization, Speaker for Life? I received healing at Rachel's Vineyard. I've been pro-life since 1983 and I care about human dignity. I've had a lot of prayer a lot of forgiveness from God, from others, myself, my mother and I have a wonderful relationship. So love, healing, and compassion are what are, those things are required for women. Women need love, babies need life. We need to learn to love each other and have that type of sensitivity. It's very, very important. We are one race, one blood, we are human beings, mm -hmm. and human dignity counts, Ainsley. It does, and we are all God's children, aren't we? Yes, we are. God bless you. You're such a sweet soul. Thank you. Thank you.